Hi guys and welcome. I was just about to make some sweet potato fries before I do the three o'clock school run and I thought why don't I show you guys how to do it. So I have already prepared two of these huge sweet potatoes and today I'm using three of them for my family but you can adjust it according to how many people you need to. I need a glass of water sorry. How many people you need to cook for. Um, I love cooking these guys whenever they're on special offer. Sorry about that. Um, so the first thing I do is I cut just the very ends off because they're just too hard to be dealing with. And depending on the size of the chip that you want, you could cut this in half to make them nice and long or in thirds, whatever you want. I actually find this part the hardest part. So I just give it a good twist with my left hand and keep my knife in place with my right hand. And then you just really want to remove all of the outer part. Um, and it's not quite like a normal potato. You do have to get a, a good chunk, quite a substantial amount of the peeling off because there is a white layer underneath that you want to remove as well. Uh, the outer layer. <clears throat> I have a tickle in my throat, excuse me. Um, it's almost uh, illegal now to have a tickle in your throat because of COVID. However, I am going to push on here. Um, I hope you all have had a lovely weekend. I know it's Wednesday, but we had two birthdays in our house here yesterday, so I spent Monday preparing, making cakes, <coughs> and dinners and things like that. And yesterday we spent the day celebrating birthdays. So uh, I had two kids seven years apart on exactly the same day, imagine. So the next thing you wanna do is cut down this way. I hope you can see that. Straight down, a good sharp knife is an absolute plus here. Otherwise your arm is gonna get wrecked and then cut the opposite direction until you get the chip shape that you're looking for okay and do the same with this side here um grace i don't know if you, you guys were here last year whenever hi guys really sorry about that but my phone stopped in the middle of filming I wish I could say it was the first time that that's happened, but it's not. Anyway, I need to delete a lot more off my phone before I record again. Anyway, sorry, sorry. So you missed at the stage where I um, used, I put all the chips that I've cut and I put them in here into a plastic bag. This is just a normal plastic bag I have. And I added my spices, which are here. I hope you can see. I have a tablespoon of sweet smoked paprika if you can't get the sweet version just smoked paprika is fine half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper one teaspoon of garlic salt and one teaspoon of onion salt if you don't have the garlic salt don't worry you can crush up three garlic cloves and throw them in here uh, i have three big uh, sweet potatoes in here all together okay and i'm going to add to it in the bag which means I've less washing up to do, 100 mils of olive oil. And I'm gonna use the bag basically to mix everything together. So I'm just gonna tie it at the top, release all the air, and just give it a good swish around. You can see all those lovely spices in there, in the middle, and we wanna get them all mixed, all the way around to all the sweet potato. Now, here is an interesting fact. I already have some in the oven for our dinner today. And I put them on my chip pans. So if you don't have a chip pan, just use a normal roasting dish and throw them on. Just spread them out nice and evenly so they get a chance to cook all the way through everywhere as opposed to just on the top. If they're on top of each other, they don't get that nice crisp feeling. Also, if you don't want to use olive oil, you could just spray each of your sweet potatoes with, uh, what do you call it, fry light. Fry light is the healthier version. So here we go. I put these in just before I dropped Liam to school or collected them at three. So they're actually 40 minutes 
in the oven and my oven is pretty hot at about 220. Now they're, they're a little bit soft so if you want them to even crisp up more you could turn your oven up a little bit more but honestly they look perfect to me. Sweet potato fries, really healthy alternative to uh, chips and especially if you use the fry light. They're really good for you. I think they're like superfoods, are they? Are sweet potatoes superfoods? Maria usually knows all things, but she's shrugging her shoulders today. She's not sure. Hope you get a chance to make some delicious sweet potato fries, guys. God bless. See you soon.